this video will teach you how to use the screen capture tool and basically this tool is used to capture portions of an image on a screen. You can take a, basically you can take a picture of the entire screen or part of it. And that's how I got this Khan Academy image. I just uh, dragged a box around it and used a screen capture tool to copy and paste it into the document. So this comes in handy if you want to uh, create instructions maybe for your students on how to do something. You can do screen captures. I use this tool when I do the, uh, sometimes I use it when I'm doing the uh, schoolmaster grade posting instructions. And as I said, I also used it to get this Khan Academy image for this particular um, set of instructions. So to get the tool on the screen, you click the arrow down here in the taskbar in the bottom right hand corner. Click this little up arrow. You'll see the notebook icon, smart notebook. Again, it has a red X on it because I'm not actually connected to a smart board right now. But regardless of whether I'm connected or not, I can still use this tool. If I right click on this icon, the again, the blue square, right click on that and I can go up to other smart tools and then to screen capture toolbar and that will bring it up on my screen. I actually have it open already, so I'm just going down here to the bottom of the screen and call it up. I can move this around. Let's try that again. I can move this around on the screen that's in my way. Um, as soon as I select one of these four options on the toolbar, it will go away while I take the picture anyway. So it's not too big of a deal if it's kind of in your way. This first option gives you, or allows you to select something that has a rectangular shape. So if I click this, and maybe I want to grab a picture of this Khan Academy image here. I could drag around this. And when I do, it will take a picture of it. You hear a little shutter noise. And bring it up. It's like I didn't drag that box very well. I've got a little bar at the bottom. But um, hopefully you'll do a better job than I did of that. Um, notice that it brings this up in a new page of a notebook document. You can copy and paste it into another page of the notebook document. You can copy and paste it into a Word document, a PowerPoint, wherever you want it. You can copy and paste it there. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And let's go back to the first page here. So suppose that instead of capturing the a rectangular image, I wanted to capture something that has an irregular shape. Like maybe I just want this little tree. So I can use this last tool drag around the tree. And as soon as I close the loop, you hear the shutter noise again, and here it is in a new notebook page in this document. I can move this thing around if I select it. I can enlarge it by clicking this uh, gray circle at the bottom right corner. It gets a little pixelated when I do that, but I can make it as big as I want. I can rotate it by using this little green circle spin it around. I can modify its properties by clicking on the drop down arrow and going to properties. So lots of possibilities there. Basically once I've taken the picture and this gets put in as an, as an object in my document, I can do the same thing with that that I could any other object in the document. Let's delete that and I'll go back. These two middle tools allow you to take a picture of the entire screen. So if I click on, let's say, this one. Oh, excuse me, that one does the, an entire page of the notebook document. So here's the first page. I click OK. And notice it's taken a picture of the first page and put it into my notebook document. I'll delete that. I can use this little red X up here for delete as long as something's selected. And if I use this tool, the second one, it takes a picture of the entire page, except um, right now that's going to be a problem because there's nothing on the page except for the menu. Bear with me a second here. Click. And sure enough, all we have is just what was showing up inside this window. So that was a bit of a bust. I think I'll go back and redo that. 
go to this screen and we'll capture the entire page. And here it is. So that's a brief overview of how to use the screen capture tool. Again, you can use that in other applications, not just in Notebook. I think you'll find it very useful. When you're finished using it, you can either minimize it using this icon or click out of it using the red X.